All right, hi guys. So I'm here to tell you all about TestKit uh, 2.0 and persuade you why you should use it. It's a library to let you build custom test modules uh, that combine all the features that you want for your test suite. So I'm going to very quickly run through how you create your kit and how you use it. So you create a package and you say use test kit and then you use include to include uh, test modules or other modules wholesale. You can do more complicated things, excluding or renaming of subroutines that you're, you're including in your kit. And you don't have to include things that are from test modules. You can include uh, things out of test util or data dumper or that sort of thing if you'd like. Put it all together, there you go. And you use it just like you'd use test more, test most, uh, any other sort of base testing framework uh, that you would use. So you can pass in the number of tests and that'll produce a plan in your tap output. Uh, and then you get to use all of the functions that you've included in your kit. So, OK, like string, test warn, look, warning like, which is the renamed one, uh, max, min, whatever you've imported. What's the point of all this? Why, why would you use this? Uh, the primary reason is to just destroy all of the boilerplate in each of your tests. Uh, so this was a commit that I did, uh, deleting thousands and thousands of lines of our, from our code base with absolutely no change uh, to our tests and to the behavior of our test suite, which was fantastic. Uh, it also gives you more consistency. So if you have a few different CPAM modules you might use to do something similar or do the exact same thing, uh, it's a lot easier if you just reach for the one that's always there. And that leads to things being more consistent. For example, we use test uh, fail warnings rather than test no warnings or test warn in our test suites. And then you can also add behavior to all of your tests completely wholesale. So if you put this into your test kit because it's affecting a completely global variable to the Perl process, then this is true for every single one of your tests that's using your test kit. And uh, if you don't have this in all of your tests, your tests are probably broken. So it's really good to add those all automatically. Um, quick note on upcoming changes to test kit and uh, test builder. So uh, Chad posted on uh, blogs.pol.org about the fact that uh, he and a few other people uh, over in the States pretty much are rewriting test builder. And the good news is I've been chatting with them about how that's already starting to show up as failures in CPAN testers on dev releases of uh, test builder. And a new version of test kit is going to be coming very, very soon, uh, basically before uh, test builder the new test builder stops being a dev release. Uh, it will work with the old test builder and all the new test builders, so your test kit should continue to work. And as I said, I use this uh, at my work, so I really need to do this, uh, or our tests are all going to start failing. So please give it a go and report any bugs that you have on, on GitHub, and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you.